I was born into the communist revolution. My mother and I were trapped basically for five and a half years. And then she very courageously bribed a border guard with her wedding jewelry sewn into a small little pillow, which I remember holding close to my chest as a little five and a half year old. So we walked forever in the dark and she finally saw the border guard station, handed the pillow to him and he released us to our freedom into British Hong Kong. And then a year later, my father petitioned for us to really be here. So I grew up in the ghetto near Skid Row in downtown LA. I knew I was always creative and born an artist and you know, the family didn't have funds for toys. So I basically started designing in my own paper dolls and I would design these fantasy lavish wardrobes for them. So that was really the beginning of my nascent interest in fashion. By the time I was 25, I had accomplished the great American dream. My story is sort of like going from rags to riches, and I've been doing it for over four decades now. It's been a great career for me. My designs were so very unique because I'm basically an every woman's couturier. I use very, very beautiful, time-honored couture techniques, but I don't sell them at couture prices, thereby making my creations accessible for everybody. So a woman can be her own celebrity while wearing a Su Wong. You really have to have a conviction within your own soul of what you really want, and you have to really hold that vision of what you want and just really follow your path through all the twists and turns and everything else in my life that I really had to suffer. I never really let go of my dreams. I followed my bliss and therefore I am living my dreams. <laughs>